because you were in Lagos seven years ago selling water in traffic. This is a true story, no? Now I'm with the most expensive African player of all time in our team. 80 million he went for last summer. And uh, yeah, just to give you a backstory, this is a boy who's been working unbelievably hard. I'm so proud of him, part of you, even to be part of his team. And uh, yeah, I want to give you some a bit more background and let him tell his own story. So here we've got Victor Osimen, the Napoli star. How are oh, you, yes. bro? I'm good, I'm good. Yeah, man. So I just wanted to ask you, so obviously tell us about your transfer last year, being the most expensive African player of all time. How did that feel? It feels good. Uh, it just started like a dream, you know, um, boyhood dream from the, from the slum. Just uh, wanting to become a professional player, yeah. inspired by a lot of um, a lot of great legends like Chidi uh, Pogba, Otuni Gallo, Mikel Obi, yeah, and and, and 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 the rest. And I feel like to be able to achieve this feast is one of my my biggest achievements in life, and I'm, and I'm really grateful to God for that. Yeah, man, and you're just getting started. So obviously, to give you guys a, a, a backlog of the story, so Vic. When I met him, I think the first time we really spent time together was in the AFCON in 2019. We had Odi Nagalo in front of him and uh, he was one player who was always like 100% in training. Me and Vic were fighting because, <laughs> yeah, he wanted to play, he wanted to play. And I remember Odi and saying to him, you know, take your time, um, you're going to get your chance. And uh, yeah, now we're two years later and, and, and the development he's made has been unbelievable. Uh, yeah, I can't be more proud of him and just of his story as well. Because you were in Lagos seven years ago selling water in traffic this is a true story no of course it's true it's a true story so um yeah tragedy i'll let you talk to talk about it yourself so talk about it how has that been with your your, your sister your brother how you how you were brought up here in lagos talk, talk to us about that you know i think um most most uh, people familiar when i when i say this because the the country even worse than, than mine and where i grew up is uh, nothing is promised there because you have to whatsoever you want to get you have to work so hard for it I remember while I was growing up, I was, um, you know, was cleaning the the gutter for um, 20 naira, you know, for my for my landlord, may he rest in peace. I uh, do some some lineage for for my neighbors yeah. close to my house wow. to, to fetch water for them for 18 naira, I think. And I find pleasure in doing these things because yeah. I, I I believe that when I work so hard to to get this money, it's so important for me, and and I and I have some kind of. Uh, I'm cautious how I how I um, spend this money, and I help my family also with it. Yeah. And um, while growing up, my brother was selling selling a newspaper. My sister's oranges, and me, I'll be I'll be on the on the traffic border, and I have to chase the chase, chase the, the cars, chase the cars to give wow. them the order, to get the the money to give them back the change, and everything like that. And I feel like this this these struggles have really helped me in life, and I'm I'm, I'm grateful for where for where I am today because uh, what I've been through has really shaped me into the man I am today and I'm really grateful to God for that. Yeah, that's an amazing story because uh, anyone who's been in Lagos and you see the kids in traffic and obviously everybody has a story but this story from, from you know, from where you come from, from the gutter to, you know, to glory and just getting started now, 22, yeah. 22 is going to be 23 in December and uh, yeah, he's got the whole world at his feet so I'm so proud to have this guy on my team. I think he's going to score so many goals. If anybody needs to know, we've got Big Paul, Paul in that we've got Victor, we've got so many players, Kelechi players that can score goals for us. And uh, yeah, the future for Nigerian football is so bright. Um, but I just wanted to share his story with you guys because it's inspirational. And uh, like I said, I couldn't be more proud of him.